Hello my friends, you asked me to build some ship models. Ok then, here is the first ship, a battleship. I choose Italian battleship Air and Rome made by a trumpeter in 1 to 7 200 scale. It has very nice color scheme and tons of tiny parts. The deck has beautiful details, but I really do not know how to paint them. Everything is so small. I cut out plastic parts from the sprue with sharp side cutter. I use very thin glue Mr. Cement S. You can also use Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. These products are almost identical. However, I was a little bit disappointed with the plastic barrels of the main gun. In this scale the plastic ones are not sufficient for me. Luckily, there exists a replacement set made from metal. The set is not expensive and quality is literally outstanding. Look at this difference. Now I glue all small parts. I use Revel Contacta glue for this purpose. There are some photo edge metal parts like this crane included in the kit, but I need more details so I ordered a set of photo edge metal parts especially for this model. In this scale it will be very funny to build the railing. I cut out metal parts on a ceramic plate. You could damage them if you use a soft pad. Now I must clean the part with a fine file. I use a standard super glue, for example Loctite Super Attack, it's a quite good for this purpose. I clean the molding lines on the hole with a sandpaper.
Ok, the model is ready for painting. First, I unify the colors with a grey Mr. Surfacer 1000. It also works as a primer. It is much easier to spray the metal parts while they are attached to the sprue. I decided to paint the ship's hull with a green color. It's very unusual, but after some research I found out that Italian fleet had a lot of battleships with a green hulls. I have no idea when I will have the chance to build another Italian ship. So I decided to go with the green color. I choose this ship because it has beautiful white and red stripes on the deck. I printed a blueprint in 1 to 700 scale with the stripes. It will help me a lot with correct orientation and positioning of the masking tape. It is challenging not to make the stripes crooked and uneven. A plastic deck has a lot of raised details, so you cannot mask the stripes perfectly. I expected that the paint would spill under the mask. As you can see, it needs a lot of corrections. I fixed the flaws with a white color and a paintbrush. I used the Tadal Keramic white color because it has excellent coverage qualities. And the brush, which I am using, is Tamiya Ultra Finish Pointed Brush Small. I expected it would be harder, but it actually wasn't. I think it looks very cool. I masked the wooden deck with adhesive gum, Tamiya masking tape and cheap electrical tape. And now I mask and paint the hull. I use 3M fine line tape. The black tape is standard electrical tape. Next I paint contours with a soft pencil because masking scheme is rather difficult.
I coat the model with one layer of the clear varnish and then I apply washes. The wash is enamel dark brown. I paint the wooden deck with it and then also the rest. Since I used enamel wash, I can simply clean excess wash with enamel thinner. I paint the wooden planks with a different shades of brown. I clean excess wash with a dry cotton swab. Now it's a time for final details. I start with photo edge railings and I glue them with a super glue. Sometimes you must bend the parts to achieve desired shapes, but sometimes it's a quite a madness. You will see.
The last thing to add is ringing. Hopefully it's not a sailing boat, so it is not so difficult. I use flexible wire made by Uschi van der Rosten to create the ropes. And that is all my friends. Here you can see how the finished battleship looks like.